Waste Water Management Introduction You must have heard about cleaning Ganga mission. This is because the water of Ganga is used by a large number of people in their daily use as well as agricultural purposes. You must have seen people throwing waste into the Ganga. Industrial waste, municipal garbage and waste water etc. are drained into nearby river, pond and any other water body. These bad activities degrade the quality of water and make it unfit for use. Sometimes, you hear that water in the cities is supplied from the nearby river. You know that it is unfit for domestic use. Actually, river water is cleaned, filtered and treated to kill the germs and make it pure before supplied to the houses. Sources of Wastewater Wastewater comes from various sources like municipal industries, agriculture, etc. Domestic Wastewater it includes all kinds of waste like human excreta, food waste, animal excreta, urine, soap, detergent, etc. Agricultural waste. The wastewater generated from farms and agricultural fields contain harmful pesticides, weedicides and animal waste. Municipal wastewater. The wastewater from homes, offices, which is carried by sewers or sewage water pipes is said to be municipal wastewater. This includes water from toilets, bathrooms or kitchens. Black water is the term given to wastewater from toilets while grey water is the term given to wastewater from bathrooms. Industrial Wastewater As the name suggests, it is the wastewater coming from industries. It is rich in chemicals and is often referred to as industrial effluent. Rainwater the rainwater that runs away and gets logged as puddles or small pools of stagnant water is a waste. It is so because stagnant rainwater is nothing but a breeding ground for mosquitoes. Petroleum oil The leakage of petroleum oil into the sea during drilling and shipping pollutes sea water. Oil spill is caused due to release of oil into seas and oceans. There are considerable destruction of marine life during gulf oil spill. Sewage. The water containing waste is called sewage. Sewage contains garbage, human waste and water that has been used for cleaning, washing and bathing. Sewage contains dissolved and suspended impurities which we call contaminants. Poor sanitation, inadequate sewage disposal and contaminated drinking water are the main causes of a large number of human diseases in India. People consuming contaminated water may suffer from diseases like gastroenteritis, dysentery, typhoid, cholera, polio, meningitis and hepatitis. Constituents of sewage Wastewater generated from all above mentioned waste contains dissolved and suspended impurities which is a complex mixture containing organic and inorganic impurities, nutrients, saprotrophic, and disease-causing bacteria and microbes. It contains organic impurities. It includes human excreta, animal waste, urine, oil, fruit and vegetable waste, pesticides, herbicides, etc. Inorganic impurities. Inorganic impurities are in the form of phosphates, nitrates and heavy metals. Nutrients. Sewage includes nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus and potash. Diseases causing microbes. Microbes like bacteria, which cause typhoid, cholera and dysentery, are present in the sewage. Sewage treatment. There are three processes which are involved in treating wastewater before it discharges into water reservoirs. These processes are primary treatment. Sewage is carried to the sewage treatment plant through sewers. Here, Large solids, leaves, rags and plastics are removed by strainers or screens. From here, it passes on to the settlement tank, where most of the suspended solids sink to the bottom. The solid that settles down is called primary sludge, which is used to produce compost and biogas. Large materials float on top and are called scum. The scum is removed by skimmer. The clarified water that moves to secondary treatment stage. Secondary treatment. 
the water that reaches the aerated tank where organic matter is broken down by the action of bacteria. Air is blown into aeration tanks to speed up the process. At times, anaerobic bacteria are also used for the process. This is done in closed tanks. However, the main purpose of this step is to settle the solids at the bottom. This is called activated water sludge or secondary sludge which can also be used to produce compost or biogas after the top is removed. The activated sludge is mostly water waste. It is passed through sand beds to separate the solid material out of it. The solid waste can be used as manure. Tertiary Treatment Sometimes the water has to be treated more before they are passed into water bodies. Water may be passed through sand filters or man-made ponds with weeds and other organisms like water hyacinth which can clean out dissolved chemicals. The water is also disinfected with chemicals like chlorine or may be exposed to ultraviolet rays to kill disease-causing organisms. The water is then discharged into the distribution system. The water treated which is obtained from sewage treatment plant is used for irrigating fields. It is also used for fisheries and growing crops and vegetables. This treated water is finally released into streams and rivers. Alternative methods for sewage disposal Making a sewage system as explained is very expensive. Some examples of low-cost sewage disposal system are Septic tank Sewage is often processed particularly in rural areas with the help of septic tank. It consists of a cemented tank in which anaerobic bacteria decompose the waste. Composting pits Human excreta is allowed to accumulate in composting pits. It is covered with soil which after a period of time is used as manure. Vermi composting toilets a new method tested in India is to use red worms to treat human excreta and convert it into wormy compost. This method is simple, hygienic and uses less water. Use of a biogas plant effectively using feces of humans and animals is one approach towards the treatment of waste. A traditional toilet of Ladakh is used in water conservation as well as waste management. Sanitation and Diseases Poor sanitation and contaminated drinking water is the cause of a large number of diseases. Let us look at our own country. A vast number of our people are still without sewerage facilities. Where do they relieve themselves? A very large fraction of our people defecates in the open, on dry riverbed, on railway tracks, near fields and many a time directly in water. Untreated human excreta are a health hazard. It may cause water pollution and soil pollution. Both the surface water and groundwater get polluted. Control over sewage generation. Leakage in sewer lines could be checked and repaired regularly. Use flushes with low capacity to reduce flushed water. Waste water from basins, sinks and washing machines can be used again for water plants or wiping floors. Never let through paints, solvents, insecticides into drains as they may kill microbes that help to purify water. Never pour household products such as cooking oil, fat, butter, plastic etc. down the drain. This material can block the pipes and sewage might start overflowing in your homes. Never throw solid waste into the sewage system. Always cover sewage system. It prevents us from bacteria and infections.